Hi, everyone. I'm Jessica Roberto from the UW Foster Schools Burke Center for Entrepreneurship. Welcome to the 2021 Holloman Health Innovation Challenge Awards video. This is the sixth year of this event and the first all virtual. Thank you so much to everyone involved in this year's HIC, the students, the mentors, the coaches, and of course, the judges. You make a difference for these students and help make our community stronger. We all came together online for hours to showcase innovations, pitches, demo videos, and prototypes. We appreciate everyone's time, effort, and contributions. We want to make it clear, every team that took part in the competition, including those who didn't advance, received feedback. We want every team's journey to continue, and we hope it will. In a moment, we'll announce the awards, but first, here's the Burke Center's director, Amy Salen. As a director of the Burke Center, it's been truly inspiring to see the challenge come together this year. As always, our students are innovative and creative, our faculty teach and inspire, and our wonderful entrepreneurial community continues to mentor, sponsor, and give their time to help students grow into entrepreneurs. Events like this are so successful because of the support of this community. It's my privilege to thank our sponsors who remain deeply committed to supporting student innovation, contributing to the 2021 Holloman Health Innovation Challenge. Our Game Changer sponsors are the Holloman Family, WRF Capital, and Kenton Lisa Sasha. Our visionary sponsors are the Herbert B. Jones Foundation and the UW College of Engineering. And our innovator sponsors are Candia Grove, Fenwick and West, Perkins Cooey, UW Department of Bioengineering, the UW Department of Biology, and the Science and Engineering Business Association. Many thanks to you all, our deepest appreciation for everything you do for our students. Now it's time to announce the prizes. Back to you, Jessica. Thanks, Amy. Let's begin with our special Best Idea Prizes. These $2,500 awards were created to recognize student teams in their competition for their exceptional work in several distinct categories. The winning teams were selected by the judges during the challenge round. Please note that while teams may only win one of these special prizes, all teams were eligible to win a best idea prize as well as one of the top three prizes. Let's start with the best idea for a medical device prize sponsored by the Herbert B. Jones Foundation. This prize recognizes the medical device concept for a physical product with the most promising opportunity to significantly improve the lives of patients or providers. Here's Michael Bauer, president of the foundation. I'm Mike Bauer and I represent the Herbert B. Jones Foundation. It's my honor and excitement to provide the best idea award for a medical device. There certainly was some significant and positive ventures provided in this year's competition. Their energy was strongly in evidence. This year's prize goes to Congratulations, Evie Bree. Our next award is the Kent and Lisa Seisha Best Idea in Digital Health Prize. This recognizes an innovative digital health application that has a high likelihood of being implemented in practical healthcare situations and is expected to have a meaningful impact. Hi, my name is Kent Seisha. And I'm Lisa Seisha. I'm the founder and managing principal of Milliman MedInsight. MedInsight was a health-oriented technology idea born many years ago. It's now a global business with one of the missions being to track and measure the efficacy of new health technologies. We wish we could all be together in person for the Holloman Health Innovation Challenge, but we look forward to seeing everyone live next year. We are so proud to be part of this important event. Great things come from great ideas, and many of these great ideas are born through the challenge. And digital health advancements are exceptionally important to the promise of delivering quality healthcare. They are often also essential to help deliver healthcare to underserved communities. With that being said, Lisa and I are proud to present the Best Idea Digital Health Award to... Congratulations! Congratulations, Congratulations to Community Collaboratory. To inspire students to address critical issues that have recently come into the spotlight, we created two new prizes for this year's competition. The first of these prizes is the Jim and Timmy Holloman Best Idea for Pandemic Preparedness Prize. 
This award recognizes an innovation that seeks to improve the ability of the healthcare system to respond to the COVID-19 pandemic, as well as future infectious disease outbreaks. To announce the prize, please welcome Steve Holloman. Hi everyone, my name is Steve Holloman. On behalf of my sister Anne, my brother Pete, my mom Timmy, and my late father Jim, I am honored today to present the prize for best idea for pandemic preparedness. My family has been blessed to be able to support the University of Washington and the Burke Center for many years. But what's particularly thrilling for all of us is the ability to support all of you, the students and this competition. It's been thrilling to watch the innovation that's developed from previous contestants and we're excited to see what comes out of this year for the future and beyond. I am honored today to present um, this prize because it recognizes something that's particularly important in the environment we're living in now, specifically the ability to improve the healthcare system's uh, function of responding to situations just like today. With that in mind, I am thrilled to announce that the winner of Best Idea for Pandemic Preparedness is, congratulations to you from myself and all of the Holloman family. Congratulations, mask seal testing. Last but not least, the best idea for addressing health access and disparities prize sponsored by Cambia Growth. This recognizes a student innovation or intervention that seeks to close the gap in health disparities for low income and disadvantaged groups by increasing access to point of care healthcare services. The innovation can also address systemic biases within the current healthcare system. To present this prize, Nick Jackal joins us from Cambia Growth. Hi, my name is Nick Jackal, and I'm honored to represent Cambia Grove in presenting the best idea for addressing health access and disparities. The past 12 months has tested the fabric of our culture and shown a righteous light on the vast health disparities and equities in our society. Healthcare at large is presented with a moment we must meet. We must find and connect new innovations to solve for our most complex problems. This prize is in recognition of promising work that seeks to close the gap in health disparities for low-income and disadvantaged groups by increasing access to point-of-care healthcare services and or addressing systemic biases with, within the current healthcare system. There is no better focus for our efforts. So it is my pleasure to announce that this year's best idea for addressing health access and disparities goes to... Congratulations from all of us at Cambia Grove. Congratulations, Osmo Processor, and a big thank you to all of our Best Idea Prize sponsors. Now, to introduce the top three awards, here's Amy Salen. Once again, let's celebrate all 21 teams who competed. You can read about each of their innovative solutions right now in the Foster blog. Now, to the $5,000 third place prize sponsored by Fenwick & West. Announcing the award this year is law partner Bill Bromfield. Hi there, I'm Bill Bronfield. I'm a partner at the corporate group at Fenwick and West here in Seattle. For over 45 years, we've worked closely with technology and life science companies that are changing the world and the investors financing them. We represent companies ranging from a single founder to you know, multi-billion public and private companies. Many of those companies came from the UW and even some from this very competition over the years. We've sponsored this program from the very beginning because we know how a great idea is so important to a startup. This program has lots of great ideas. Congratulations to each of you for thinking big and making it this far with your huge ideas. The winner of the third place prize is Under Pressure. Congratulations. To announce the $10,000 second place prize sponsored by the Herbert B. Jones Foundation is longtime supporter and foundation president, Michael Bauer. Hi, I'm Michael Bauer. I'm president of the Herbert B. Jones Foundation. On behalf of my trustees and especially Herb, our mission is to encourage and enhance entrepreneurism through post-secondary education. Certainly, we saw today the great presentations and recognition of the, the mission being accomplished. There was a lot of strong entrepreneurial efforts, and we look forward to seeing them all go through the future. On behalf of the foundation and Herb, we provide the second place award to Nascent Diagnostics. Congratulations. 
And now the grand prize. This $15,000 award is sponsored by WRF Capital. Announcing the winner is Will Canistero, Managing Director at WRF. Hi, I'm Will Canistero, Managing Director at the Washington Research Foundation, WRF Capital. It's our mission to help technologies translate out of Washington State nonprofit research institutions to public benefit. So we're thrilled to be here supporting the competition. There are a lot of great teams. And they had a lot, put a lot of work in to get here. Academic scientists and engineers do a great job developing new innovations and technologies, but it's turning into a product or service that ultimately helps benefit patients. It's our pleasure to present the grand prize this year to Sound Sustainability. But wait, there's more. We're going to end with the prize formerly known as the JARL, judges also really liked. In 2020, this prize was renamed the Connie Barassa Shaw Spark Award to better reflect the spirit and intention of the award and to honor our former director. It recognizes teams that in the eyes of the judges just missed out on the top prizes. So here now is Connie to announce the Spark Award. Thanks, Amy. Hi, everybody. I'm Connie Barassa Shaw, the former director for the Burke Center for Entrepreneurship, now retired, which means I get to come back as a judge and see student teams. The teams that take top honors at the Holloman Health Innovation Challenge are impressive. Great ideas that could really make a difference, along with a team that could make it possible. But there's always a team or two that the judges really like, and they let us know through the scores they give the teams. So the Burke Center for Entrepreneurship created the Spark Awards to encourage these teams, to let them know that they too have real potential and to give them that little bit of money that makes it possible to keep moving forward. I'm a big believer in little bits of money. They can be very powerful. So this year's winner of the Connie Barathashaw Spark Award is Congratulations. Congratulations, Direct Dose. And congratulations to all the prize winners of the 2021 Holloman Health Innovation Challenge. And congratulations to every team that took part in the competition this year. You all started something unique. This really has been an amazing event. The Burke Center team joins me in thanking our advisory board, our colleagues at the Foster School, the University of Washington, and across the region as well as our wonderful entrepreneurial community. We'll see you in 2022.